All right, here's a quick update on the uh, mod I did here at another installment of Dave's Garage. We got our 2022 Speed Twin, and we did our charcoal canister mod. One thing kept bugging me. If you remember, I was talking about how on a lot of bikes, there's a vacuum. There's the vent line coming down from the, uh, from the uh, gas tank, and it goes down into the charcoal box. And any vapors go in there, collect, absorbed by the charcoal. But then there's usually a vacuum line that pulls a vacuum any of those vapors back. Otherwise, it would just sit there. So we want to uh, to get those back in. And so I'm like, you know, do you need to plug that line that's pulling a vacuum? Because typically it's going to pull it off the exhaust manifold and it would be like having a leak. Or, I'm sorry, not the exhaust, the intake manifold. So I'm looking for some advice here. So what I did was I followed this wire, had to remove this cover. That hose that was on the other side, there's the one that comes and I verified here. I'll just take this cover off. All right. There's this one that has this one-way valve. This goes up under the tank. I can follow it. My finger's on it right here, and it goes into. That's the vent line from the tank, okay? That goes through a one-way valve, so it goes down in, but it doesn't go back into the tank, so nothing can go back up. That's what that one-way valve is, and that's okay to just let it vent because if there's pressure builds up, you want it to be able to, to you know, come out. The line that was over here, I moved to the other side as I was tracing this thing out. That line went back. That was the return line, okay? So what I figured out was that goes to up under this cover, which I'm not gonna take this all off again because you gotta remove like three screws, but there's a line that goes up in here and it goes into like a solenoid that turn, apparently can turn on and off and open a valve. And then it goes straight into the intake track. Here's my concern. And I don't know if it's founded or not. I'm hoping someone else that's done this before or works at a dealership can tell me. It's after the airbox. So theoretically, you know, it's a closed system before. Anything, any vapors that come out of the tank up here would go into the charcoal box and then the intake track would suck anything in. It's a closed system. Now that it's open to the air, my concern was, well, what if it's certain RPMs or loads, you know, whatever, it opens that up and starts sucking air into the intake. And I have an open hose. Now, granted, there's not a lot of air that's going to pull through that, but why pull in unfiltered air? If it was going into the air box below the filter, then I wouldn't worry about it because anything it pulls in is going to go into through the filter and it wouldn't matter if dust or something got in there. So what I did was in finding this out, I just routed it to the other side. I capped it. I just put a screw in there. The screw's kind of long. It goes up to here. Um, it's not going to work itself out. And if you want, you can just put a zip tie on that. Or you can get another cap or whatever. I'm doing this as an experiment. Um, so when that intake, um, you know, because as the gas flows through, it's going to pull a slight vacuum. That's probably why I wasn't feeling it. I wasn't at high enough RPMs or working the motor. But I'm sure that at some RPM, that little valve's going to open up. And it's going to pull a little bit of suction on that to pull any of those vapors in from that can. Um, now that there's no can, I don't want it pulling in dirt or dust or anything like that from the road that's bypassing the air filter and going right into the intake track. So do the mod for now, cap this off. The worst it's going to do is it's going to pull a va It's going to try to pull a slight vacuum and it just won't be able to suck anything. And it's not like it's going to hurt anything. It's just the natural vacuum created um, at certain RPMs and loads as the air rushes through the intake track. Um, same kind of thing like where you have your, uh, your crankcase vent goes right into there. Now that's just oily air from the crankcase and that goes into past the air filter. Um, instead of, a lot of times they do it into the air box. So that's interesting. That sucks the, any crankcase vent goes right into, well, no, let me take that back. There's a solenoid up in there. And then it goes back. Oh, that does go back into the air box. So in any case, so for now, I'm plugging that hose. And that's the way it worked on my um, Aprilia. That's the way it worked on the Ducati. The difference was on the Aprilia, even at idle, you'd feel that suction. And if you had it uncapped, it would actually make it idle kind of funny. I didn't feel that doing it here on this particular bike. But I still do think, just by looking at where it, it joins, where it goes back into the system, I do think that it's uh, definitely going into the intake track after the filter. And I don't want any unfiltered air, even though it's just a tiny hose. I don't need any kind of debris, dust, road grit, anything abrasive, anything that doesn't, any kind of contaminant. I don't want going into that intake track. So if you have done this mod, as you watched my video yesterday, 
I'm going to put an addendum on that and a link to say, hey, go watch this when you're finished, and uh, we'll link back and forth. But if you've got any, uh, if you're a mechanic or you've worked on these, and you know that for a fact that my suspicions are correct, or if you think I'm wrong, tell me either way. But that's what I'm doing for now. So this is an addendum to yesterday's removal of the, uh, whatchamacallit, the uh, charcoal box, the uh, EVAP canister. Anyway, that's all I got for today.